All right, folks, welcome back to another edition. As always, we got the big man in the house. How are we doing, Big Rob? Good. How are yourself, Tom? I'm good, man. This is technically our Christmas edition. Yeah. Uh, we had we had some things come up. <laughs> both, both of our both of our households are are under oh. fire hazard right now. Jeez, seriously. Just nothing but sickness the last two weeks. Gone through the whole house. It's terrible. Yeah. We apologize. We did not get an episode out last week because of the the, the issues going on. Um, let's start with you, Big Rob. How, how was your Christmas? Christmas is, uh, I don't know. I kind of felt bad. The kids had a great day, but, uh, great time. We, we had it, we've been kind of hunkered down for the last like four or five days. Didn't get to see any family or anything. Kids were sick. And then in turn, I got sick. Katie got sick. So we just stayed in and, um, you know, kids opened the presents. I opened a couple presents. Katie opened up a couple presents, watched a shit ton of Christmas movies. I can't tell you how many times I did. I did find myself going to the golf channel a lot though, because I did enjoy those final rounds that they were playing, like uh, you know, the Sony and they played the tournament champions and stuff like that the last couple of days. So that's been a fun watch. But um yeah, I mean we basically just stayed in, hung out, was bums, ate a bunch of food. So it wasn't bad. It, it could be worse. But no, it was it was a good time. How about you? Yeah. Did you get anything from Santa golf related? So that's funny, man. Like, God, I think this is, well, I shouldn't take, I should take that back. Like Ella at her school, they did like a Santa's workshop. So she, you know, I don't know if you remember, I think St. Mary's what? did it when we were kids. You put like your mom and dad gave you 20 bucks. You had the envelope. You got to write who they got to shop for. And then they went to go shopping. So Ella had that last week. And um, yeah, she got me. The only golf thing I got was uh tease that said world's greatest golfer. So I have a bag full of those. Uh, so that was nice. I'll just keep those in the golf bag. I won't use those, obviously. Uh, um, besides that, the rest of it was like, uh, I guess you, oh God, almost like an old man now. It's like more of like, uh, I got a Sherpa flannel jacket oh, yeah. from Eddie Bauer, which was pretty sick. It was, really? uh, that was nice. Um, and then I got a bunch of socks. So that was pretty exciting. Um, and uh, what else? I think that's it. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, uh, a journal, like a, one of those moleskin things that she knows I like to write notes in. So that is about it. How about you? Nice, nice. Uh, Christmas was interesting over here. Yeah. Uh, we caught the vid the whole, the whole hour. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, like three days before I was supposed to host Christmas Eve on the 22nd. I had a bunch yeah. of people flying from all over. Um had to audible thankfully my my brother took that upon him uh him and his family which was awesome so basically yeah we went from you know planning a huge christmas eve over here to you know having plans with the family and everything like that and essentially we were on lockdown everybody um, okay though yeah i mean the first couple of days was was brutal um other than that you know it was a standard congestion had cold sure you know, yeah. No flu, which we were lucky enough, but, uh, yeah, I, I tested positive on a Monday. My wife tested and then my daughter. So we all had it. Uh, luckily I think we, we think our daughter had it like the week before. So she was fine. Um, uh, wife's case was a little bit more mild, but yeah, I mean, it was just like you said, tons of naps, tons of movies, yeah, a lot of food. Um, I mean, my back was starting to hurt towards the end because i was just laying down so laid down all yeah yeah i couldn't wait i got out of the house one day to meet my uh my brother out on the porch and it felt like i was released from prison it was sure. unbelievable. you didn't find yourself going in the garage and swinging a little bit no i mean i had no energy that yeah. was like the only thing um but like i felt pretty good besides you know my chest and head but you know again i was just i was just thankful that it wasn't the flu um yeah not gonna wood, but yeah. Other than that, um, Christmas Day itself was awesome. You know, now that the little one is, you know, she's starting to get it. Um, sure. she was, yeah, she was. It was very cool. You know, the night before we put out a piece mm -hmm, of cookie. Cookies. Yep. Yeah, and in milk, and I, uh, you know, I got all dad and 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 did the whole magical thing with like you know the, the footprints from the oh you did oh good for you man that's awesome yeah i just I, I just thought it was you know it'd be pretty cool pretty whimsical yeah um 
So yeah, I, I did that with some flowers. Did you do anything special with the train? No, no. Oh, but I did watch Polar Express, which I've never seen. You know that that movie creeps me out. That, I, I thought it was pretty good. The conductor Tom Hanks. That's just like yeah, the, the animation of that freaks me out. Like I can't, I can't watch it. I thought it was cool from like the train perspective. Sure. Uh, now, like the bum on top of the train, like right. didn't understand that really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we crushed a ton of movies. Um, all in all, pretty good. Uh, let's see. In terms of gifts, I got a ball. I mean, I I told you this before. Like, you know, my thing is. One, just because, you know, I don't want to be asking for clubs or whatever. I'd rather just buy that stuff on my own. Like, yeah, like, shoes and balls are, like, kind of the only two things I ever asked for. In every single, like, grab bag that we do, I just ask for balls, balls, balls. You can never have too many balls. Sure. Because, you know, it's, like, midsummer by the time you're paying for balls out of pocket, which is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Um, it's great because balls are expensive. But, yeah, I got a bunch of balls. Um, I got an Eddie Bauer jacket. Oh, did you? Yeah, I mean, I picked it out, but like, you know, Santa brought. So it. I didn't realize, like, so I, I like to buy stuff that they give, they offer in talls, right? So like, Carhartt's awesome because they yeah. offer talls, right? I never knew Eddie Bauer offered tall, and Katie got the flannel and you know, like an XL tall, and I'm like, oh crap, this isn't gonna fit me. But yeah, they fit big men great. I love it. That might be my new store. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I'm looking for like, I don't know. I just feel like all of the winter, I don't have like all of my, my winter stuff are like, you know, what I shovel snow in or like just a, you know, a zip up that has like construction glue on it. And like, sure. I don't, you know, just for like a, a, not even a nice winter coat to like, um, not necessarily go to like family parties, just an everyday winter coat mm-hmm. is what I needed. And I found one and I was like, you know what, I'll pull the trigger. I, I looked for so many weeks. And yeah, it's an Eddie Bauer. It's awesome. It's super warm. Um, got a bunch of compliments on it on Christmas on Christmas Day. At, there you go. We went to her in laws um, Christmas Day. It, we, you know, we we pretty much were like, well, we've been out of commission for like the last week, so yeah, are we doing this. And then we were both like, well, we are fine, and it's been more than five days quarantine. Right. So we said, you know, fuck it, let's go. So we went. It was great. Um, and then, other than that, you know, a pair of shoes, and then it was awesome. We just watched the little one open up mm-hmm. a bazillion presents. Yeah, right. Afterwards, we're like, "This is this was way too much. Like, we shouldn't have." That's how it goes, and then you yeah. gotta you gotta cycle it out. You know, Vince has a pro move that we take. We we usually do is they save some of it and they put it away. So. And then they let it, they, they'll bring it out later in the year. Like, so that was half of her gifts. So that pro move. So like mm. half of those Christmas gifts were like her birthday gifts. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. We just put them in, we just put them in the attic from her last birthday because same thing. Right. right. My brother is on that pro move and he's like, listen, man, don't, he's like, put away like five or yeah. six things and then just mm. give it to her for Christmas. So yeah. yeah, that's what we did. But of course. You know, we got a little excited and just bought her more shit. And, did uh, PJ fly in? Yeah, PJ. Was did he get? Did he get back out? Does he fly Southwest? No, they drove. So okay. they because they stopped in Nashville on the way home. Oh, okay. Her in law. So yeah, he was on the road. Okay. Uh, but yeah, weather sucked. You know, I think it took him like you know an additional like five hours to get home. Gotcha. Wood, but yeah, everybody was in. Um, it was good to see everybody for the short time we did yeah passing so to speak but yeah other than that i mean it was just a weird christmas because we were you know we weren't able to do anything but you know for the way that it it you know worked out everything was good we're back to somewhat being healthy um back to work so that's a good thing yeah the routine yep so yeah other than that all is good um what are your thoughts on the master's invite Rob going out to live players. I think it's the right thing to do. I mean, you're talking about the integrity of the field. I mean, and what you're not going to have those guys playing it and just, I, I don't get it. I mean, obviously live is live, but I think it was the right move to do. Agreed. I think it was funny how some of them did put it out on Twitter and social media though. That was, that was pretty good. 
Yeah. I mean, I agree with that. Um, definitely like Patrick Reed and Bryson and, um, I mean, Reed won. So, I mean, he's, he's already got a green jacket. Like, DJ's got, you know, it's like those guys will be there. Like, you're not going to have Kafka there. You're not going to have Bryson there. I mean, right. I don't want to, I mean, every weekend now between majors, it's going to be the same people playing, right? It's going to be like the same old, like, yeah. might be exciting sometimes. It might not be, but at least with the majors, that's where we are the most excited about, right? That's the top four you know, tournaments that we must watch, right? So we want the best players there, whether they're in live or not, I think. What do you think about the CEO stepping down? I know, I thought that was interesting. And then what, are they still trying to get that Taylor made? That old oh, exact from Taylor made or something on there? I don't I know. Could, but he was, yeah, because he was in charge of finances and all that stuff. I just, I thought that was very interesting. Well, here's here's something interesting that I didn't know, is that guy, he left like an exec job for the Tampa Bay Bucks and was like, you know, the guy was making Buku bucks. Obviously he took the position with Liv because, you know, he, you know, thought it had some legs, but if that guy is leaving after a short, right. Not even a year. Yeah. Like that's a pretty big sign to me. Yeah. Um, I I mean, and you know, them pushing out their, their events that they're set up to, it's just like, I don't know. Right. So it's, it, I don't know. It, it, it's starting to look dim for the live tour, uh, this upcoming season, especially, you know, no yeah. sponsors yet. Right. No TV and, deal. No like, TV deal. Like I think things in terms of like their tournaments probably took off a little bit better than they expected, but I'm sure they also expected to have all of that stuff done already after year one. Yeah, I, I forget what I was listening to. I probably was Shotgun Start, and this was probably a month or so ago, right when the season just got over. But I thought they said they had they had like two years or something figured out money wise where they can do what they're doing now. Might be longer than that of you know without having to have a TV deal or anything. So it's just that's just crazy to me to see how much money they're pumping into it and to see what's going to end up that it's going to be right. So it. it it's interesting, but I thought that move for the CEO to step down was was kind of eye opening. Um, mm-hmm. We'll see what comes of it. Um, Greg Norman still just continues to take for it. you know shots. Um, but in PGA Tour news, Rob, obviously we didn't have an event since what the QBE shootout. Next week we got the the, the Century at Kapalua, which is probably one of my favorite tournaments of the year. Yeah, well, you know, it's on later, so it's right. It's fun to watch. It's you know, there's some good holes, and you got that. Uh, you got that great field playing. So, right, and you know, have you ever been to Hawaii? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I have not either. I we need to get out there, Rob. <laughs> get the little, uh, get yeah, the you know, little. me and you should go. Forget the wife. So let's just get out there for golf and see how that is. Uh, it might be a little easier to take them, to be honest. No, no, I yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could be on a plane that long. I didn't like going. I didn't like being on a plane that long to Ireland. I, mean, I can't imagine being on a plane that long to Hawaii. I don't think Hawaii is as far as Ireland, is it? No, no I, I, well, how long? Now I'm going to have to find this out. Maybe relatively close. Um, what's it? Probably? I, can't, I can't stand flying to Arizona and being on a plane for four hours. I don't, I couldn't, it's more than four hours. Yeah, definitely. Also, fun fact, did you know Hawaii is the most southern state? No, I did not know that. I just learned that. I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, Anyways, yeah, if I had to guess, I would say Hawaii is like a nine-hour flight. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's nine hours, nine hours and 15 minutes. And uh, Ireland was like seven or eight hours, so. Yeah, okay. So it is about the same. Um, Yeah, the century is awesome. I always enjoy it. Like you said, it's, it's, it's on later. So that's nice. Um, Kapalua is just insane. I mean, the views, everything you get from that tournament is, is great. Um, other than that, Rob, we're going to jump right in to the top three. Are you ready for the top three? I'm ready for the top three. I want to know your top three things you're looking forward to this year in terms of golf. And that could be 
on the PGA Tour. That could be personal. Oh, okay. That could be a course you're looking forward to playing. Sure. Oh, man. That's a good question. I feel like there's a lot to be excited for. Not just top three things. That's kind of hard to, you know, do it down. It's true. Oh, man. Um, well, it's kind of like three would be just to be able to swing a club again. Like, I'm actually like fucking Jones and like, you know, with this break and everything, I would probably be living at the indoor simulator already. So it kind of sucks. I keep on seeing my clubs, but I have been working with the putter. So that's been pretty nice. Going back and forth between that and the spider. And I, I feel like that's the same thing. So I'm pretty excited about that with the Scotty. Um, so yeah, three would be just being able to get out and play and swing again. I mean, that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, two, man, uh, two would have to be the Masters, right? Um, I, I love that weekend. It's the Super Bowl of golf for me, besides the Ryder Cup when that happens. Um, it's a great weekend. It's, it's excitement le- leading up to it. So two would be that. And then number one, I'm looking forward to uh, the Sand Valley golf trip we have set up to play this summer. So, um, yeah, and that goes with getting back into playing routine with my back and everything. So I got a lot, a lot to work on in the off season. How about you? Nice. <clears throat> so the Ryder cup is not in your list, although it's back this year. <laughs> Honorable mention, but yeah, okay. I'll give you that. <clears throat> um, I'll go. Number three is seeing the field this year, specifically on the PGA tour. I think it's, I think it's hot right now. I think there's so many guys out there that can make a lot of moves. Um, you know, I, I just think it could change so much. Uh, Scotty, I could see him not even being relative in in this upcoming year. Oh, Scheffler? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I just, I think. I think like, what do you think he falls down to? With that? I don't know. I just think there's going to be a lot of movement this year um, in terms mm. of young guys. Sure. Um, you know, even even Tiger coming back, you know, looking forward to seeing what he's doing in in the majors. Um, and then all that kind of plays into the Ryder Cup, right? Who's going to get? Yeah, the- that's a great call. Um, so I would say the PGA Tour in general, a number three, just a lot of action. Um, number two, I would probably say, yeah, getting back out, you know, playing. I was actually contemplating going to the dome this weekend Rob. oh yeah yeah there's only so many you know for me you know i i like to bang balls but i also like to see the flight of those those balls so yeah. hitting the simulator it's it's nice but you know um i think you just get a little bit more out of seeing the actual flight plus it's also nice to like you know aim at targets and and see the reaction that the ball has and so forth and so on so I would say getting back out, you know, being able to swing, whether that's a potential trip down to Florida, uh, maybe in February. Okay. Um, um, but yeah, I, I just want to get out and play. I think this weather stinks, Rob, with a capital <laughs> S. <laughs> um, it's been fucking cold, man. Yeah, it's insanely cold out. Um, actually, n- now that we say that, this week, what's going on? Last week was all, you know, with wind chill, like negative – 20 30 Dude, so Thursday 50, night 52 or something I don't Thursday night blow uh snow blowing I came in my whole beard was frozen and then what uh tomorrow's supposed to be 40 Thursday supposed to be 50 rain it's all gonna be gone away it's it's just nuts They're absolutely nuts yeah and and it's crazy to think about that it's already you know almost the new year um so we're pretty much halfway through winter if not more you know, I always think that people think that winter is more like December, January, but I always think that the worst of it is in February. That's when I feel like we get pounded. Yeah, I was trying to, we're, it was funny because uh, Santa brought um, sleds for the kids, you know, new sleds. And I was trying to think last year we went, I'm try, I think that was in February, end of January, beginning of February. Um, and they're asking about it today. And I, I felt bad because like you just said, the rain's coming on Thursday and all this shit's going to be gone. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and then I would say number one is as always just playing a new course. And, and to be honest, I don't know what that is. I mean, yeah. who knows? Maybe I'll be picking back, piggybacking off you and maybe I'll go play sand Valley. Um, you've played sand Valley before, haven't you? I have not. I've had cousins that got invited last minute this past summer. That I was very jealous about. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I can't wait for that. I there's, I mean, we talked about doing other courses too, right? Heading up to Wisconsin or Mich- Michigan. I actually got, I got, uh, I'm going to say it wrong, but I got a call. Was it Christmas Eve for uh, a guy's trip to uh, Arcadia Bluffs in, um, I think, uh, middle of August. So that was like another. Cool. Yeah. Um, so it could it could potentially be. A very expensive summer for golf and it could be in a lot of deep shit with the uh the wife too uh, by the end of this but you know what it's like this is true this is also work man this is also work you know? i was telling the wife the same thing um i told her that 2022 was unacceptable just <laughs> I, I told her i told her I said, do you know how many rounds I posted? As if she even knew what that meant. Yeah, right. And I said, 16. And that's not including like outings I played in. But I told her normally I'd have 16 you know, rounds posted by like May. <laughs> and the year before, I think I had 46 rounds posted. Um, and I told her, I said, listen, this this can't happen. <laughs> this simply just can't happen. <laughs> this is and, just- she, and then she reminded me that we also have our second child born or due in March. Uh, I said that's fine. We'll we'll figure it out. But I am playing tons of <laughs> tons of golf this summer. I just put you know I I always got I lately I, my kids are older now. I could actually take them golfing, but I always find it I found j- a little bit jealous that I never thought of what these guys are doing now. Right with the car seat on the cart, and you're going to play Twilight or um you know the stroller with the uh, the clubs hanging out of it, walking and doing that shit. Um, but this- yeah. This summer, I'll one thousand percent bring Lily up to Stony or Fountain Hills and sure. just mess around and let her, you know, drive the cart. And I think that would be awesome. Um, but no, just joking around. But pretty much told the wife, like, listen, I need to be playing golf. <laughs> uh, you know, luckily, you know, I I was injured towards the end of the year. That that kind of had a lot sure. to do with the the rounds posted, but. You know, it's part of the it's part of the gig. It's part of the job. You know, we we got to be playing golf. So we have so. play. And I, you know, I don't know if you're on Seven Bridges email list, but they just sent out the uh, the, the the last reminder for their uh, memberships. So I thought I'd take a look at them, and they're actually not that bad. Like their whole like Twilight membership or their uh, their levels of uh, of memberships. It got me uh, interested, even though I. I really that, that back nine I can't stand, but it'd right. be nice to get some practice in on Twilight during the week. This is true, although you can't even practice there because they don't have a driving range, Rob. No, but I would, I I would much rather you know I, walk a couple holes than sit at a driving range. To be honest, I, with. I know I know what you're saying. I was just throwing <laughs> some shade at uh, seven. <laughs> yeah, um, <clears throat> but no, that uh, that pretty much wraps up the the top three honorable mention. I would say probably the masters for sure um obviously a huge weekend um the best and i think this year is even going to be 10 times better because all the drama heading into it give me some pairings rob give me like a Saturday, yeah. sunday pairing with you know rory and like dj um, sure and just let them go at it well i want to see that on thursday friday where they set it yeah. up like I, I give me that like God, I would love to see Rory in with one of those guys mixed right, up. Right. right. You know, it's just that would that would be awesome. That'd be entertaining as hell. And the fact that, you know, uh, just you know, the shit talking between some of them still would be great. Right. And then watch watch, you know, Cam Smith walk into that place and just tear it up and not say a word. You know, very True. yeah. You Silent know. assassin. Yep. Yeah. 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 Um but that does it for this episode, Rob. Until next time, big guy. We'll uh we'll see you in the fairway. Happy New Year, bud. Happy New Year. Later. See ya.